Hey everyone, welcome to Waxing Pixels, a video game podcast hosted on Battle Geek Plus. This is the first Waxing Pixels of 2017. Yes, that's Yay! what the team says. 2017. And I am still Josh, as I have been. And with me, I've got Heather. Hi. Ryan. Hey. And Franklevania. Transylvania. And roll out. Oh, you got it. Damn it. What? Oh, man. I was so ready to get you like I did last time with the Father Frankmas thing. How's everyone doing? Uh, well, I hate my apartment now because they cut down a tree. It was, that was, that was shading our balcony from sunlight and giving us privacy. And it was better to look at than a blank wall to the building next door. So she's been, she's been saying this like all day. I'm so pissed. Like she's been like working in every conversation. I'm I'm so mad. I'm I'm so upset. Fuck this place. I can't wait to move. We've been here for like five months and I want to, I want to move. So, so, so the Republicans pulled back that whole thing about the ethics thing. And she's like, oh, that's good. But that fucking tree, (laughs) like that's just what it's been today. Fucking tree. So I'm a bitch. Aside from the tree, how are you doing? That's pretty much my world right now. Your whole world's the tree. Okay. Yes. I thought I was your world. You're my universe, darling. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess I guess someone cut off a part of me. That being the tree. Because the tree isn't the world, and the world is part of the universe. Hi, Frank. How are you? That was long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm doing good. Doing good. <laughs> I'm doing good. Awesome. How are you doing? Tree. I'm tree. angry. Oh, yeah. That tree. Yeah. Ryan, how are you? Good. It's been a while since we've done this. A it few has. weeks. Yeah, I, I was able to hold down the fort, surprisingly. <laughs> well, and what, what did you do to hold down the fort in the meantime while I was busy in the Midwest with family and stuff? Well, weed. Family and weed. Weed. Well, I just posted videos I wanted to post later this year, but I had to bump them up a little and I had to record a new one. Hopefully I got some views. Uh, what games are everybody playing or have been playing because I know, like, Heather, for example, you're going to be all like, well, I was busy trying to be productive, so I'm not going to play a game today. But I know you were playing games while we were on our vacation. Yeah, I was doing River City Ransom, the new one for the... Tokyo Rumble. Tokyo Rumble, yeah. Yeah, yeah that one for the 3DS. And um, I really like it. I'm having a little fun with it. And then I'm also playing... Um, uh, what's that kid's name? Uh, for Ace Attorney. Um, um, Apollo Justice. Yeah, Apollo Justice. Uh, I've been playing that as well, so, um, eh. I mean, it's, I like it, but then I, there are things about it that I don't like, that, I, I don't know. Right. Um, anyway, that's what I've been playing. I need to get, I'm, I will be getting back to sticks, because I'm almost done with the game, so. I, uh, I just finished River City Tokyo Rumble. I, uh, was playing it really hardcore, and I meant to finish it before we went on our trip, and I pretty much just stopped playing it right before the end of the game. And then got back into it as soon as we got back. And the first place I went to was the end of the game. So I, I was just pretty much like 10 minutes from the end anyway. And now I'm on a new game plus for that. So whenever you get done with it, Heather, that's when uh, I guess Ryan can pick yeah. a file to delete and maybe start it on his own game of it. Uh, Ryan, what that, have you been playing? Uh, that depends because, you know, a whole bunch of games are coming out pretty soon. But, okay, well, what I've been playing, um, I just beat Dead Rising 4 yesterday. Uh, a bit disappointed with the ending, but I have to wait till the DLC comes out to see the true ending. Ugh, uh, DLC. Which really sucks. That's so, necessary is dumb. So I can't make a video on it. Then I'm still playing Final Fantasy XV, and I'm almost halfway through. I've just been trying to balance that, um, plus Dead Rising 4. And also... Um, I bought the full version of my favorite game, Here They Lie. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, like the one where I screamed at and... and I thought you soiled my couch. Yes. And I can only play that game for about 10 minutes at a time before I just got to take it off because it's wow. like shit. <laughs> I was just hoping it would be like Resident Evil 7 training, but I just can't. Man. It's I can't play that unless someone's next to me now. Oh, wow. It's just that freaky. That's, that's kind of intense. Have you... Have you uh, I remember suggesting that you make a compilation of all the jump scares and stuff like that people have gotten yeah. playing PSVR. Like, have you done that yet or started uh, on that? I, I'm probably going to. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I know when I play Resident Evil 7, I'm probably going to compile all the jump scares there. That, that, that would be pretty cool. Just all the screaming and nastiness and whatnot. Like, yeah, that would but, be... And if I have the courage to play Here They Lie again, then, then maybe. I think the problem with Here They Lie is, you know, 
it, it like takes place in such like a bright environment, so it gives me a little motion sickness. Mm. Sickness, so it's a little harder for me to play for long periods of time. So that's also the reason why I can't play it for over ten minutes at well, a time. If you're not throwing up, then you're not really experiencing the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, if I was really experienced, I'd be screaming a lot more, which I have. I've been screaming a lot. I bet your neighbors hate you. Yeah, they do. <laughs> also, um, <laughs> he just says it with, with just such confidence. <laughs> and yep, they sure just do. Just nonchalantness. It's just kind of like, not shalotness, is that a word? But yeah, like just so nonchalantly <laughs> and just, yep, they do. And also, um, let's see, like my sisters from New York came over. I had them play VR. Um, sadly, I didn't make any of them play Kitchen. But um, <laughs> I, I did have them play... Um, PSVR worlds, and then like one of my sisters screamed during the shark attack. Oh, okay. So, but we had one of our other friends play Kitchen, and actually, um, he was pretty composed through the whole thing. But my sister was the one who got scared. Oh, oh she saw, wasn't wearing the helmet. Yeah, I, I, I saw yeah. a photo on Facebook of that where like she it was like, oh yeah, she's getting more scared than the person actually playing. It's like yeah. it's like it's like when Frank watches you Heather play uh, scary games. Oh uh, yeah. You know, doesn't have control of it. And, you know, screams about things and. Makes me almost poop myself. <laughs> Jesus right? Christ. Uh, speaking of Frank, uh, Frank, what are you playing? Currently, I am playing Fallout 4. Just downloaded it before we went to Christmas. Got like 62 hours on it so far. Oh, oh wow. wow. 62. Oh, yeah. Combined hours. Oh, how, how, how are you enjoying it? I am really enjoying it. There's a lot of stuff I haven't uh, discovered yet, and I don't plan on going on the internet and finding out. I want to discover it. On my own. Well, that sounds cool. Yeah, um, like it's meant to be experienced. Yes. Have you done any of the story? Uh, yes, I'm to a point where I can probably choose between four endings. Okay. Well, I don't want to spoil <laughs> anything. So. Right. Well, I, I see. Th- I, I did notice that uh, whenever you were playing, that you were doing a lot of uh, running around inside the institute. So. Yeah. The institute. The institute. The institute. Oh, so, oh! I went with the institute. Institute, <laughs> destitute, prostitute. What's the difference? The institute. You fuck one. You. I know that much. Yeah. Or all. The, the, the all of them. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I s- <laughs> one socket at a time, Heather. <laughs> the destitute <laughs> prostitute institute. Oh yeah. Well, I sided with the institute, so that's where I went. <laughs> the destitute you're, you're prostitute person, institute. I think. ITT Technical Institute. Well, it's no longer around. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. ITT Tech is gone. Huh. It was shut down. That was, oh yeah, that was yeah, that was, I, I wasn't sure if it was them or if it was a different one. Yeah. But anyway, who here is a fan of Castlevania? Me. You? Yeah. Okay. Then maybe you can lead us off with this rumor about a Castlevania animated series or film that might be in the works. Like, what's, uh, what's going on with that? Yeah, so I think back in 2015, there were rumors that this company was going to start a Castlevania animated series or film, but so far it hasn't gone off the ground. And I think there's some buzz going about it, but there's been nothing confirmed. Now, it's going to be made by the creators of Adventure Time. So the studio uh, Frederator then? Yeah. Okay. And uh, so, so are we looking at like ultra-violent Castlevania? Are we looking at some, like, Captain N kind of thing? Like, what are, what, what were they kind of buzzing about? Um, I, well, I hope it's not the Captain N one, because I, I don't want, like, um, Asshole Simon. Asshole Simon. Asshole Simon. <laughs> right? I don't even remember vividly anything about Castlevania from Captain N. I just know that, like, that probably happened. Like, I have more vivid memories of, like, that crappy-looking Mega Man. <laughs> like, that green one or whatever. Yeah, green but, Mega Man. So, so Frederator, they've they said that they've had this property for, like, over, like, ten years, though, right? Yeah. And they just haven't been able to get it off the ground for one reason or another. Yeah, that's true. But recently, they, they've kind of, like, started throwing some hype out there, like, it may happen? Yeah, it might happen, it might not. We'll definitely see. I mean, it's made by the people who made Adventure Time, so hopefully it's good. Right? Well... I don't know. Adventure Time has a completely different feel than, you know, what I would think about Castlevania. Are you confident that it would be something that would be worth watching? I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, most, you know, video game spin-off media is generally garbage, aside from the Nintendo comic system, which anybody under, like, 25 might not even know about. Yeah. But, <laughs> and our friend, our friend Joe, who's probably listening to this right now, is like, Nintendo comic system? I still have that. In a box. <laughs> In a closet. <laughs> so... Under other boxed things from Nintendo. Right. So so really there isn't much to go on. It's just a rumor that this may be happening and Frederator still has the rights. Yeah. I okay. feel like it sounds like an awful idea. Just for the simple sake that how far he can get in the story before Simon dies. Honestly. Truly. 
Really, come on. You die like every five seconds in that game. <laughs> well, if you're talking about like the canon story at the end of Castlevania 2, there is an ending where he does die. Wow. Does, does he die from getting hit by something while jumping over a pit? Something like that. Well, he, he dies... <laughs> Close enough. Well, he, he dies from the injuries um, fighting Dracula's body parts. Okay, so... so does, does he uh, get beat up by Dracula's penis? Probably, yes. Does, 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 now, does Dracula, like, you know, do most of the damage while he's slowly climbing some stairs? Is that what's going on? Or? Uh, not really. Well, hopefully, uh, when this Castlevania animated series or film or whatever does come out, hopefully it does not come out on a horrible night to have a curse. <laughs> so, anyway, we'll move on to, let's see, Dragon Quest Eleven. Yes, Dragon Quest Eleven. Hooray, so, you can read Roman numerals. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dragon, I, th- that reminds me, um... Back over a decade ago, my stepdad, he used to work for a warehouse that distributed video games out on, like, the west side of Indianapolis. Oh, yeah. And I remember being in that warehouse uh, one time when he had to stop in and check on something. And he this was around the time Final Fantasy X was, a, was like, a thing. And, like, nobody who seemed to, like, be actually like, distributing this stuff, like, they were there to work. They, didn't, they weren't, like, gamers or anything. They weren't go in there to be all like, wow, look at all these guitar heroes that we're going to send out to stores. Like, you know, they were just, it was a job. It's a warehouse job. They were there. And I remember him, you know, being all like, oh, look, Josh, we've got Final Fantasy X. And I'm just kind of like, and I didn't make fun of him or anything like that. I actually like was kind of like, hey, if you want to sound cool to the younger guys who might be working here part time, it's Final Fantasy X. <laughs> you know, but yeah. There were, oh, no, no, no. I don't, I don't think it was X. It might have been X2. But either, either he said it was Final Fantasy X or Final Fantasy X2. You know, right? Which, in either case, like. Well, that, the point of my joke was the fact that you know, because of games like Final Fantasy, maybe you can't read your Roman numerals, right? Because you know, Final Fantasy ten, uh, then thirteen, and then what other stuff? Stupid numbers. Now there's fifteen, and who knows what else is out? You right. Know? They they don't go in the correct order. Oh, I mean, they do nowadays. But... Well, I mean. You get my point. You know where I was going with that. Right. There was also that Simpsons episode back in the day. Uh, oh, right. Rocky 2 plus Rocky 3 equals Rocky 5. <laughs> you know, and it was, it, Bart was able to read the Roman numerals that way. But anyway, Dragon Quest Eleven. I don't really play Dragon Quest, but apparently there's a U.S. release teased. Now, I've seen other Dragon Quest games make their way over here in the recent years. Like, what is going on? Why are, why are we not getting the main titles over here? What, what's going on with that, Ryan? Well, um, you know, Dragon Quest, I mean, I'm a huge fan of Dragon Quest. And, you know, I played it back when it was called Dragon Warrior on the NES. And, you know, obviously being a big fan of Dragon Ball, especially for the artwork. Yeah, um, I love Dragon Quest games. But for some reason, like um, here in the U.S., the Dragon Quest games aren't as popular as they are in Japan. Because in Japan, they're like a religion. Like, <laughs> you know, like in Japan, I heard like, you know, like bullies would beat up kids to get their copies of, the, of Dragon Quest games. <laughs> Oh, oh wow. Japan. And so, and, and also in, in Japan, like, they would prohibit, like, they used to prohibit selling them during school days or else kids wouldn't go to school. They would just play Dragon Quest all day. Ah, huh, that's funny. Yeah, so, um, and yeah, I'm pretty excited for Dragon Quest XI because it looks freaking gorgeous. And it might come out for the Nintendo Switch. And um, right now it's confirmed for the PS4 and the Nintendo 3DS. But most likely, if it doesn't come out on the Switch, I'll probably get it for the PS4. And it might come out here to the U.S. So so what's been coming out in the meantime in terms of Dragon Quest? I saw, like, you know, I saw our buddy uh, Mike Labrie, Vegito EX from Cons and Shoe. Like, yeah. He was talking about a Dragon Quest game the other day. He was like, I'm 40 minutes in and I'm finally getting my first slime. Like, yeah. What was he playing there? Like, do you know? Um, he was playing Dragon Quest Seven, which I just beat like a month ago. <laughs> Now, isn't that an older one? Um, it's an older one, but remade for the 3DS. Oh, okay, that yeah. makes sense. So, so there's been like some remakes that have come out, that, like spin-off titles, I assume. Yeah. And is that supposed to be like paving the way for Dragon Quest Eleven? Like, what, you know, trying to like kind of build more of a fan base for that, or what's going on? Oh, yeah. Why the spin-offs instead of the main titles? Oh, well, actually, most of the main titles have come out here in the U.S. Like, but they've just been taking a long time to come out. Like, the only one we haven't gotten is Dragon Quest X, which is the MMORPG, so, and, you know, like, we can't, like, play that online, and it was only for the Wii and the Wii U. There was an MMO for the Wii? <laughs> yeah, which nobody played. That's, well, yeah, no wonder we don't have it here. Yeah, well, only only people in Japan played it, but not us. <laughs> right? That's 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 crazy. So, Dragon Quest XI may be coming here, maybe not. Yeah. 
uh, again, it were, yeah. you know, from an official source, like Frederator was talking about Castlevania and, uh, you know, the Dragon Quest uh, producers and whatnot were talking about Dragon Quest XI. So hopefully there's some there's some basis to all this. So anyway, moving on, something that I do know about, something that I am excited about, Double Dragon 4. Double Dragon 4. Double Dragon Z. That bitch needs to stop getting kidnapped. Like, holy fuck, you'd think she'd learn a thing or two. Like, learn that pepper spray exists. Well, she did She did use the power of love at the end of Double Dragon Neon. She did. Yeah, that's so, true. So, after being evil and then not evil anymore. Yeah, I forgot about that. <clears throat> but yeah, Double Dragon 4, coming out for PS4 and PC on January 30th, 2017. I watched the trailer for that today. It was pretty interesting. Starts off with... Uh, Double Dragon 30th anniversary and some random font that like I found in like Adobe Premiere like a bunch of times. <laughs> you know, it was just like it's like what is this a fan video? And then, you know, shows the Arcworks studio logo and everything and then cuts into some footage of the first Double Dragon, Double Dragon 2, for some reason Double Dragon 3. But only because they're calling this Double Dragon 4. So they skipped over Super Double Dragon. They skipped over Double Dragon Neon. Uh, that dumb fighting game based on like the movie and cartoon and all that stuff. So they're just going straight to Double Dragon 4. And this one is really interesting in the fact that they, they aren't doing like Double Dragon Neon. Where they redid the graphics and everything. And it's just kind of a parody of itself. It's pretty fun. Instead they're going straight up kind of like River City Tokyo Rumble. Where they're actually using like the old graphics and all that and the old fight mechanics and just kind of giving it a new sort of polish to it and updating it for like the current console market. And that's something I'm like really excited for. It looks like it's just like an expanded version of Double Dragon 2 or something. Yeah. (laughs) So I I did not see how much it will cost, but I would not be surprised if it was, you know, somewhere around 15, 20 bucks or whatever. But yes, Double Dragon 4 coming to PS4 and PC with offline simultaneous multiplayer. What? What? Right? That doesn't exist anymore. Couch multiplayer? Who does that? Old people. Like oh, us. Oh, God, we're old. Oh, uh, my back. That's uh, what I was going to say. That's what you get for sitting on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yes, Double Dragon 4. Who else is excited for Double Dragon 4? Who wants to play Double Dragon 4? Me. Sure. <laughs> Frank. Sure you can. I'm wrong, game. R- wrong, wrong game. Yeah. No, I said sure you can. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> sure can. But yeah, um, Double Dragon 4, I'm super excited for it. I don't think it's going to like be one of those things that like sells super well and becomes like amazingly famous or whatever, because one, it's not first person. Two, you don't fire any guns. And three, the last time a Double Dragon game came out, the only major coverage it got was from some asshole who doesn't like beat-em-up games reviewing it for a major website. Oh! Oh, wait, wait, that that was, that was, he did a Double Dragon review, and that's, okay. Double Dragon. I remember, I remember um, hearing about people being like, well, hey, dumbass, you don't even like this type of game, why the fuck are you reviewing it in the first place, you douche? Yeah, like, and I I didn't realize it was for that game. Yeah, like, I went to look for it, because I already knew I was going to like Double Dragon Neon, like, it's one of my favorite games of the PS3 generation, like, because we don't play the PS3 much, like, I kind of want to rebuy it for Steam. So we just have it on the PC, so I have something current to play it on. Yeah. And with that, like, I already knew I was going to like it. I already had it. I was already playing it. But sometimes with stuff like that, I like to see what, you know, maybe, like, popular opinion might be or mainstream opinion might be of something that's a little more niche like that. Like, I don't have to go check on Arkham City or whatever. I know what that's going to be. Yeah. But uh, Double Dragon uh, Neon, the review I saw for that was the guy just complaining about brawlers and beat-em-ups the whole time and then complaining about Double Dragon Neon about how much it sucks and everything. And it's like, why are you even doing this review? Like, that's me being all like, I'm going to review Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Like, I don't play anything like that at all. Like, the only thing even remotely close to that genre that I've been even, like, tempted to play is Overwatch. And that's just because, like, it's just like a super nerdy version of, you know fun multiplayer shooting people and stuff. 
And yeah, but uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see how this game will do in terms of like mainstream and popular opinion outside of like, you know, people who are like already in their 30s or 40s, you know, mm-hmm. who you know, are playing, who are, are going to be playing this. So um, now I know like we're going to be buying it for the PS4. Uh, and well, Frank lives with us, so there's that. But yeah. Ryan, like, are you planning on actually getting it, or are you going to be coming over here and, and mooching off of me? Oh, well, I'll get it for the PS4. <laughs> All right, awesome. Oh, come on, there was no question Ryan was going to buy it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he buys everything. Well, I don't know if I'll have a, I'll have a lot of time to play it because it's coming after Resident Evil Seven. Now, one thing I haven't seen is if it does have online multiplayer or not. If it did have online multiplayer, it'd be fun just to try that out. You know, me and you. Yeah. But uh, yeah, if not, doesn't matter. You work like across the street from me. So, like, you can just come over here and we can play some Double Dragon afterward. Sounds good. That would be pretty rad. Anyway, so that's pretty much all I can say because that trailer, it didn't really show much. It was just awesome action stuff. Go look it up and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. If you're a Double Dragon fan or a fan of beat-em-up games in general, you this, this trailer will get you excited, especially, like, the second half of it. So, anyway, moving on to our last topic of the day of the week, of the podcast, of the episode, whatever you want to call it. There was a Warcraft movie that kind of just slipped under my radar. Yeah. Because I don't play any Warcraft games. I also heard it was bad. See, I I didn't even hear that. I I thought it was okay, but... Yeah, it was, from what I heard, meh. Meh. It's not terrible, but it's not great at the same time. Okay. Now, the, the movie did lose money, but... And it didn't really do that well domestically, but apparently it did super amazing in China. Oh, and China. still made like $400 million or some crap like All that. All right. Apparently, there is some details from the director about whether or not there might be a Warcraft movie sequel. Now, who here is into Warcraft? Me. You? Yeah. So, so Warcraft movie, you know, you said not great, but not bad. The sequel, while it's not confirmed just seems like one of those things it's like it's up to the studio but apparently people are actually asking about it is this like just some niche group of people that you know just happen to love the warcraft movie or people who are just into the franchise and want to see more out of it like what are we what are we looking at here um i would assume it's just you know like niche people who are fans of the franchise because um you know like there's not that many fans of the movie but i think there's a select group of people who you know like a select group of warcraft fans who you know still want to give a sequel a chance so so this is kind of like they're optimistic yeah so this is like a similar audience to the people who might unironically buy super mario brothers the movie on blu-ray yeah so it's kind of kind of in a similar <laughs> camp here. Like they they're they're like neighbors. So uh, only like Super Mario Brothers the movie like their yard looks like absolute garbage. It's like brown and there's like you know like a, a dead cat. And, <laughs> a dead cat. Yeah, you know like the Warcraft like that that one like it, it's kind of modest but not like amazing. Yeah. You know and it's like across the street from like the Marvel yard where <laughs> it's just like a fucking mansion where like the grass is like made of gold flakes or some shit. So. <laughs> So yeah, Warcraft movie, anybody have any interest in going and seeing it at all? Nope. Well, yeah, I'd like to see a sequel. Did You saw the first one? Yeah, I saw the first one. Uh, did the first one like actually like follow the games pretty well or like look like the games it, or anything like that? Or It looked pretty good. It tried to follow the games, but it tried to incorporate way too many of the storylines in the game. And so, yeah, like one of the details that emerged was, um, yeah, like one of the problems we had with the first movie, we tried to incorporate way too many of the storylines. And with the sequel, we'd probably like would just like to narrow it down. Okay, so it would be a better sequel because of that. Yeah. Okay, so I think uh, Warcraft movie fans, all two of you, huh. uh, and me keep, and yeah, and Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so three of you, and maybe Frank if he can catch it on a Tuesday matinee. Keep shouting at the director and the studio and all that. What was it Legendary that did it? Or yeah, Legendary. Yeah, shouting at Legendary. Uh, I've I've shouted at companies before until they've like made a release happen. So like, do that, and maybe you'll get it. I won't be going and seeing it, but maybe you'll end up sitting right next to Ryan Molina of Battle Geek Plus, yeah. not fame. <laughs> you know, and, and watching it with him, and then you can get his autograph and sell it on eBay for for two cents. 
I was going to say three dollars. Oh. You know. <laughs> wow, you guys have a lot of uh, positive yeah. ideas about this. Because I was going to be like, I don't think you can sell something on eBay for less than nothing. Wow, wow! <laughs> like I, I, I apparently have the most confidence in you know, <laughs> the fact that like people will buy anything. You know, we we just got to sell it right. Right. But uh, you know, <laughs> this is the rare autograph of that Ryan Molina on Twitter. He now, sometimes... now, now, if you ran around being all like, I'm Cash or Troy, and I did this AMV, and that AMV, and this AMV, and I've edited this, that, and the other, and I won awards at AX before, and I've been bit there to be a judge, and blah, 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 like, then yeah, people will be all like, Ryan Molina, give me your autograph! Hey, oh, dick! <laughs> well, yeah. actually, at the PlayStation Experience, I did run into one person who recognized me from Channel Awesome. Oh, oh really? Wow. Cool. That was pretty cool. That's pretty rad. Yeah, that well, you you pretty much like out of us, like you're the one who's like in front of the camera the most anyway nowadays. Right. You're just kind of like battle blog, yeah, awesome video game memories, yeah. So speaking of, we are pretty much out of stuff to talk about. Um, everybody, I want you to keep your eyes peeled for January twelfth. Nintendo is going to be revealing a lot more information about the Nintendo Switch. Including, you know, exact release date, specs, launch titles, all that stuff. And we are actually going to be moving our recording date to Thursday for next week and trying to get the podcast out as fast as possible. That way we can kind of have this big switch discussion with you. But in the meantime, while waiting on that, we have some cool stuff on our channel, Battle Geek Plus. We have what's awesome video game memories. Yep. We have arcade edition. Yep. We have the battle blogs. Uh, when do those come out and what all do they do? Oh yeah, so um, so we've made a couple of changes for 2017. Now every single Sunday there will be an awesome video game memories episode. And this month in January is Resident Evil month because Resident Evil 7 is coming out by the end of the month. And it's also going to spill in a bit into February so I can cover you know, you know, the, like the main six Resident Evil games, you know, plus, plus Resident Evil 0 and Code Veronica. And then we're going to start having like theme months for awesome video game memories. You know, like we might have Zelda month, we might have Sonic month, and we might have Mario month when the Nintendo Switch comes out. Oh, that's pretty awesome. So so it sounds like, you know, maybe I might want to get involved in that Zelda month. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, maybe we'll get Frank involved in that Sonic month. Yeah. So the uh, Frank nodded his head. In yes, yes. <laughs> yes. I didn't so. want to interrupt the flow. What flow? We're we're just we're just doing the our flow thing. that's coming out of your mouth. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so those shows come out all the time. Ryan's doing most of them. I'm in some of them. The rest of us sometimes. But yes, waxing pixels. You can find that on Thursdays, correct? Yes, Thursdays. You can download it on iTunes or your favorite RSS feed or watch it on Battle Geek Plus. Apparently, we're also on Vidme now. Yeah, we're on Vidme now. Okay, so like, did you just move all the content over there? Or? Well, I moved some of it, not all of it, though. Okay, so, so I'm very, very slowly moving it over. Okay, are you updating it like with the same updates as the rest of it? Yeah. Okay, and also our uh, video game streaming content uh, that is no longer on the main channel either. Where's that at now? Um, it's actually moved to another channel, but you have to go to our like related channels to find it because I don't have a custom URL for it yet. What's it called? Uh, just BGP Gaming. Okay, BGP Gaming. Look that up on YouTube, BGP Gaming, or you can go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Plus, and find it in our related channels if you want to watch our streaming content after the fact, which you can find us on twitch.tv slash Plus. Right now, Ryan, you're mostly using that. What are you playing on there? Let's see, I just finished Dead Rising 4 yesterday, so I'm... Well, now I can focus on Final Fantasy 15. And then when Resident Evil 7 comes out, I'm going to be hogging that shit. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Uh, and, uh, well, when I get around to streaming, I'm usually on twitch.tv slash kendamu, K-E-N-D-A-M-U. Though when Ryan's not hogging that shit, I'll hop on Battle Geek Plus as well. We auto-host each other, so it's not hard to find either one of us. So... And, well, maybe when you're not hogging it, Heather might get back to sticks at some point. Because when's the second one come out? It's already out. It's already it's out. out. I had no idea. Yeah, I had no idea either. The 30th of last month. Oh, December. Oh, oh, oh right. Okay. We were talking about how that might not actually be, like, the actual date. What's no, out? It's to present off on Steam. Well, that's great. 
that's just another game that I'm not gonna get yet. So, yay. Yay. Well, Ray being broke. It's wonderful. High five. I can't move. I'm trapped by a cat. I'm sorry. Bro fist. Air fist. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Air fist. With your head. With my head, yeah. Right? So, anyway, that's all for now. My name is Josh. I'm still Josh. And as always, I have Heather. Bye. Ryan. Later. And Franklvania. Pfft. <laughs>